Hello, everyone, and welcome to week 11 of Life with Annie. We are so excited that you have all joined us each week, and also thank you for all your support. We've really enjoyed having this time each week to share with you. Last week, we introduced two updated patterns, double zip gear bag and a place for everything 2.0. So if you missed last week's uh, presentation, make sure you go to our Facebook page or our YouTube channel so that you can see everything that we shared about those. I really enjoyed seeing how excited everyone was about those patterns and also reading the comments you made. And I wanted to share a few of those comments and questions with you. So Terry M. said, I use my A Place for Everything bag all the time, and I love the 2.0 changes. Adding pack pockets to the back of the pages and changing the handle are my favorite changes. The bags you've shown today will help to remove clutter and keep like things together. So true. She also said, I'd make luggage tags to identify them. That way, when you want to grab your thread bag or feet and notions bag, you'll know which one to take to class. And I thought that was such a great idea uh, because, you know, why go through all the work of opening it when you could put a little tag on there that helps you do that. So I just wanted to share, we have a great pattern for a luggage tag that is part of our jet set pattern. It's um, made to carry your pillow when you travel, but you could do just the little luggage tag and hook it right onto your handle. So the way this is designed, it's just got a fabric loop on the end. You could hook it over the handle and then just loop it through there and you've got a tag all ready to go so that you could label it as you go. The other one I wanted to show you is, um, this is our pattern called Hold Everything, which was the very first one I made. And you can see why people said that's not big enough. It's pretty small, but it's a perfect little bag for carrying machine feet and all kinds of specialty things like that in it. So this is designed with a number of pages that fasten with Velcro. You can take them out, leave some at home. But what I wanted to show you on this one is that I designed it so that you could put them on the shelf and you could have a separate bag for each machine's feet. And so on the outside, there's a little vinyl pocket that you could say Bernina, Janome, Juki, and you know whatever feet you have for each machine, you each could have its own bag. And when you're ready to go to class, again, you just grab that bag and you've got everything you need. So again, this one is called Hold Everything. Truthfully, it's a little bit harder to make even than a place for everything because the way this is designed, this zipper is sewn right to the edge of the bag and trying to get that binding on at the end is a little bit more of a challenge. This one's way easier because your zipper is sewn between two flat strips which then get sewn into the bag. So I love this little bag, but um, it's not quite as easy to make as this one even though it's smaller. All right, Pam asked, what is the reasoning to have the binding on the outside of a place for everything versus the double zip gear bag, which has the binding on the inside? Can you bind the place for everything from the inside? All right, that is a really excellent question. And I can tell you that the reason we put the binding on the outside of the bag is that it gives it more structure. It makes it a, have a, a more tailored appearance and it just helps it stand up a little bit better. So um, it also made it so that when you put your pockets on the inside, you don't have binding going around this edge, which means that when you close the bag, you've got plenty of room for your pages to fit all the way to the inside. Binding on the inside, makes it uh, makes your bag a little softer, a little rounder, and so that's why on these bags we decided to put it on the inside. We debated when we did the um, the new version of this about putting the binding on the outside and we actually didn't really like the way it looked. So all of that said, you certainly can change it if you want. Um, I would say that if you were going to do that, you'd probably have to make those inner pages a little bit smaller. But if you wanted to put the binding on the inside, you certainly could. 
the thing that you'd have to know is when you sew this bag together, because the binding's on the outside, you're sewing it with the lining sides together when you assemble it at the end. If you want the binding on the inside, then you're going to sew with the main fabric sides together. I know there's people who say, you know, I worry about my binding looking good and I don't want it on the outside. So, you know, you certainly could do that if you want it. I also wanted to show you um, this pattern. So this is undercover, which is our sewing machine cover. And you can see how having the binding on the outside of this really makes it stand up and hold its shape and gives it a really kind of square appearance. Here's that that one of those just turned inside out. So you can see the difference that happens when you've got the binding on the inside. You just don't have that clean, crisp corners that hold their shape so well. So hopefully that answers your question, Pam. Um, I also last week showed you how to customize the pages so that you could put specialty rulers in them. And when I showed you the page that I made for Marty Michelle rulers, I mentioned that I didn't put any divisions in these pockets because with the space that the zipper slide took up, it would make it hard to get the... Um, the rulers in because you lose a little bit where your zipper pull is and Tony B Tony Ann B had a great suggestion she said you could just sew your division line starting at the bottom of your pocket and stitching up to the zipper but not going through the zipper so that your pocket is divided but you don't have three separate pulls. You'd still open your bag that way. And that was really a great, great idea. The reason we like to put separate pulls on is that you can open this pocket without opening these two, so you're, you're not worrying about losing stuff. But in the case that you want it to be able to divide these, that would be a really good solution to that. So thank you, Tony, for sharing that suggestion. Trevor's writing me a question here. Can you bind on the outside on duffels? So like our travel duffel, which has the binding on the inside, yes, you could certainly bind that on the outside. It, um, I can't think of any reason why you couldn't. Um, I will say that there are a number of layers there, and it would give it a much more um, boxy appearance. I think having it on the inside um, makes it just a little bit more, I don't, what's the word I'm looking for? A little more rounded. So um, we usually consider it both ways. I had a pattern where we were considering writing it um, and, and doing both options. And when we got done with it and tried it with the binding on the outside, we decided we didn't like it as well. We liked it better on the inside. Um, but you're certainly welcome to play with that. I have seen Ultimate Travel Bag that people have done with binding on the outside. And it gives it more of a... An appearance like an airline bag that a stewardess would carry is kind of what we remind what reminded me of. Bowl me it was bowl me over. Yes, that was the one. Okay, so I think that was all the questions that... Oh, no, Ginger had a question. Ginger said, I got my new patterns. However, the videos say one use only. Can we watch it more than once? And thank you for giving me the chance to clarify that, Ginger. Yes, you can watch all of the videos as many times as you want, day or night. So they're available 24-7. The one use only that's on that coupon refers to the coupon code. So you only get to use that code once to buy a video at no charge. But once you purchase the video and use your code to remove the cost, it will go into your digital library and it will be there for you to watch as many times as you want over and over again. So that's one real, real benefit of those add-on videos. All right, before we get started with today's program, we want to let you know about some really great events that Biani is sponsoring. Uh, you may be aware that March is National Quilting Month. And to celebrate this, our friends at Shannon Fabrics are hosting one of the biggest giveaways that we've ever been a part of. And um, you can read about it at their blog. Trevor, you got to move me down. <laughs> I don't, I have to read this because I don't know all the particulars. So one lucky maker's going to walk away with over $4,000 in sewing supplies, notions, fabrics, and more. And I know we've donated some items to that. 
You don't have to pay anything to entry. enter. Entry is free. And all you have to do is go to Shannon Fabrics' blog, and you'll get more details and find their entry form. And Trevor's going to put a link on the screen so that you can see that. We are also a really proud sponsor of the Quilt for a Child nonprofit organization. Their mission is to make quilts for foster children who live in residential facilities. And Trevor, who is in charge of our marketing um, stuff, has been the one who's communicated with them mostly. And when he came to talk to me about it and said, would this be something that we would um, could help support? He said, this is really near and dear to my heart because I was an adopted child. So I want Trevor to come up here. <laughs> Trevor was going to have to introduce all of this today because we weren't sure if I was going to be here. So he got his hair cut last night and he's looking really awesome. So I'm going to have him come up here and he's going to tell you about how the auction works. <clears throat> take it away, Trevor. You can take your <laughs> mask off. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for having me on. <laughs> uh, yeah, Quilt for a Child is an incredible opportunity that... Um, you know, throughout the year, uh, caseworkers will reach out to Gwen and uh, kind of give her the lowdown on, on some children that are, you know, needing some extra love. And, um, you know, kind of she'll find out things that they love and favorite colors. And then she will reach out to makers like you to volunteer to make a quilt for them. Uh, and so... Uh, right now, they're actually introducing a silent auction that's going on this weekend. <clears throat> uh, there's about 80 items, I think, um, that are up for up for bid, um, including something from us. We put in an ultimate travel bag that's absolutely beautiful. Uh, but we just, you know, encourage you to uh, take a look at those items this weekend and, you know, open up your hearts and, and consider the the impact that you can have um, and on the organization itself. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, I think we might have everything there. Uh, I will link to some of their stuff though, so you can look into it though. Thank you. So, <laughs> yay Trevor. So Trevor, people can make quilts or they can donate money, either one, right? Yes, you can donate money or uh, bid in the silent auction. Okay. Um, and if you follow them, on Instagram, she will, when she gets a new uh, job, uh, she will reach out to everybody and people will volunteer. Great. And have the opportunity. Okay, I'm not sure if you heard that, but she's, he, Trevor said, if you follow them on Instagram, when she gets a request for a quilt, she'll um, let she'll set it out in the Instagram and let people know and people can volunteer to make quilts. So I know all of us love making quilts for others and we've, um, that's a really nice way to help. So also make sure you go check out the ultimate travel bag that we've sewn and be generous in your bids for that. So it will be a special one. All right. So, um, <laughs> people in the corner. As we told you last week, we have been a little bit slammed lately due to health issues and other challenges, and there just haven't been enough hours in the day. We're working really hard to get your orders out as quickly as we can. I've been really busy this week stuffing patterns and packaging stilettos, so if you order a place for everything uh, this week, there's a good chance that I packaged it for you, so enjoy. Um, I have to say it's really fun to see what everyone's ordering. I can really tell who's been watching Facebook Live, and um, last week when I was pulling orders, I put a few notes on for people uh, saying, yay, you're going to love these needle cases that you ordered. So thank you again for joining us. Um, again, remember, if you have a local shop who stocks by any products, check with them before you order from, from us. That helps support them, your community, and also helps us catch up. So um, thank you so much for doing that. We've also been really busy this week working on our scripts and filming our schoolhouse videos for Virtual Quilt Market, which begins on March 23rd. So just a week from yesterday. If you're a quilt shop owner, be sure you have a wholesale account with us so we can let you know about our special show specials and also fill you in on everything that's new. Uh, yesterday, I got my second COVID vaccine. Other than a little bit of soreness in my arm, 
very little. I've had no reaction to it, so that was really exciting. If you haven't got your vaccine yet and you're in the age groups that qualify, please do. I'm looking forward to the day that we can all get back to what was kind of normal in terms of travel and being with friends, and those vaccines are really going to help with that. Having heard from several people, including two of my sisters, who had reactions to the second shot, I wasn't completely sure I'd be here today. And so we decided rather than doing a live presentation today, we'd plan ahead and do something a little bit different. So what we decided to do was film a video or actually play one of the videos that we've recorded. And um, it's called Projects for a Pandemic. So it's going to give you some ideas for things that you can do um, in your time alone or at home and um, just lots and lots of projects. So um, we're going to start that here in a minute. Um, it will just play. You can watch it. And, um, you know, at the end, I mean, we'll still be here um, answering questions. If you've got any comments or any questions, um, make sure you let us know. We've got links that we'll share. So if you see something you like, we'll put the links up on the screen. And um, please let us know if you have questions about any of it. So we're going to get that started really shortly. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the video. And I will be back next week uh, live with a um, introduction to our new pattern, Tools of the Trade, which is one I'm especially excited about and I can't wait to show you more. So I will look forward to seeing you again live next week. And um, today, enjoy Projects for a Pandemic. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, I'm Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Today I'd like to share with you some ideas for projects for a pandemic. From self-isolations and social distancing to stay-at-home orders and quarantines, many of us have been stuck at home for months now. Though it's been hard not to be able to spend time with our families and loved ones, including our quilting and sewing buddies, I also have to admit that I often enjoyed the peace and quiet and time to focus on projects. In many ways, we've been given a wonderful opportunity to hunker down and work on projects without guilt. Who ever thought someone would tell us we had to stay home and sew? In this presentation, I hope to bring you a little of the inspiration that you may be missing by not being able to visit your favorite local quilt shops. And I want to share some ideas for projects to help fill the time. I'll start by showing some quick, easy projects that are perfect for gift giving. What a gift we've all been given to have the time so early in the year to get a head start on our holiday lists. I also know that many of us have taken advantage of this time at home to do some organizing and cleaning. Cleaning house is definitely my very best way to deal with stress. There's nothing like a clean organized closet or drawer to make me feel better. So I'll also share some projects designed to help you organize your life, from sewing supplies to tech gear. Once we've got everything cleaned and in order, it will be the perfect time to spruce things up with some new decor. So next, I'll also share some ideas for decorating your space, from your sewing room to the kitchen and more. And of course, I know that all of us are getting a little cabin fever by now and are dreaming of being able to get out and travel, or even just go to the store. So we've got some fun bags and travel accessories to inspire you. Finally, for those who may not be familiar with Biani patterns, we've got some fun free projects to share that are designed to teach our basic techniques. These four projects are the perfect way to learn or perfect some Biani bag making basics. I'll end with a brief overview of some of the Biani products that are essential for making these projects soft and stable, mesh, fold over elastic, handbag zippers, and more. Let's get started. We'll start first with some ideas for quick gifts. Many of us spent many hours over the past year making face masks, especially in the beginning when masks were so hard to find. And it looks like mask wearing will be part of our life for some time to come. Masks make great gifts for anyone you love, and our free face mask pattern is quick and easy to make. 
It also comes with a full add-on video that walks you step-by-step -step through the process. My own masks were getting a little ratty looking after being washed so many times, so I recently made a few new ones. I especially love the fold-over elastic ties. They are so comfortable to wear. Be sure to grab some of our lightweight and breathable mask filter material. This top quality filtering material is perfect for face masks. I love using these Mad About mesh bags when I launder my face masks. I don't have to worry about the ties getting tangled with everything else in the laundry. Anytime I make masks for others, I make a coordinating small mesh bag to go with them. The pattern includes instructions for three sizes. They're perfect for holding anything that can get lost or tangled in the wash. Tennis shoes with ties, aprons, bras, small socks, and more. One package of mesh will make one large and one small, or two medium bags. Another great project that features mesh, these handy meshing around bags in three sizes, are designed to carry over the shoulder or as a backpack. The mesh gives great visibility and ventilation. They're perfect for summer trips to the pool or the beach, or for fall mushroom picking excursions. The ventilation allows the mushroom spores to release and reseed as you hunt. It's a Cinch makes multi-purpose mesh bags that will bring color and style to a laundry room, college dorm, or kid's playroom. Each lightweight bag features a wide opening that makes it easy to get everything in and out with ease, making them perfect for toys or sporting equipment, as well as laundry. Mesh makes the bags lightweight, keeps everything visible, and provides good ventilation, keeping dampness and odors away. Cinch the bags closed quickly using the sturdy strap and throw the bag over your shoulder on your way to the laundromat, beach, or next hotel. When you get there, hang the bag on a hook or doorknob using the reinforced hanging strap. Don't miss the opportunity to personalize the bag for gifts. A fun fabric strip in the middle can feature a favorite designer, team colors, or a fun novelty print. This strip is also the perfect spot to embellish with an embroidered name or design. In addition to adding visibility and ventilation, our mesh also provides a bit of stretch to pockets. Use our fold-over elastic for an easy one-step binding process, and your binding will stretch right along with the pocket. That's what we did on this fun glow-and-go set. The pattern includes instructions for an essentials wrap and coordinating bag. It's perfect for makeup and toiletries, for men or women. Or use it for art supplies, such as paints, brushes, and markers. The pattern includes instructions for adding an iron-on laminate to make a wipe clean interior. We use slicker on both the inside of the wrap and the inside of the zippered bag. The bag is extra quick and easy to make and uses just one side of a piece of zipper tape. Just a quarter yard each of main and lining fabrics, a 9-inch strip of soft and stable, and one 30-inch zipper makes two bags. Our beautiful Renaissance ribbons bags use a similar technique to make gorgeous bags using exquisite woven jacquard ribbons and velvet borders. The flat bottom zippered pouches in two sizes stand up and open wide to keep all your essentials in one place. Biani Soft and Stable provides stability and gentle protection for contents. The add-on video for this project walks you step by step through the entire project. And you'll find kits at our website. I wish you could feel these bags through the computer screen. They are so sumptuous and elegant. These fun zippered flipping out bags in two sizes are also made using just one side of a zipper tape. So one 40 inch zipper makes both bags. When open, the cases convert into desktop stands by folding down their tops, allowing easy access and visibility of contents without sacrificing stability. Mesh pockets on the inside and on the gusset help keep everything organized. My daughter-in-law made this small flipping out for my grandson's toothbrush and toothpaste. She fused slicker to the inside so it's easy to wipe clean. Perfect. You will find so many ways to use these easy-to-make bags. Sewing tools, knitting needles and yarn, 
Barbie dolls and accessories, even a bottle of wine. What a great hostess gift. Another quick, easy, and fun project is Clam Up. This pattern includes instructions for fun and functional bags in five sizes. Use them to store and organize all your essentials, from makeup to sewing supplies to tech gear and more. Double slide zippers and handy grab tabs make it easy to open the bags for access to their roomy interior. Attached side panels prevent contents from falling out. When empty, all five bags nest within each other to save space. Clam up bags use just small amounts of fabric so they are perfect for using scraps left over from another project. The pattern includes instructions to make the bags with quilted fabric or non-quilted fabric. The non-quilted bags may also be lined with slicker. These are perfect to keep on hand for spur-of-the-moment gifts. If you want a larger bag for makeup toiletries and more, our Open Wide 2.0 bag is quick and fun to make. The pattern includes instructions for bags in three sizes. Each bag features a triangular shape and a flat bottom, so they can stand on a counter. They also have an easy-to-open top, which opens wide, making it easy to see and access everything inside. There are two mesh pockets for keeping your items organized and easy to view. For easy closing, hold the handle created by the binding. Then tuck away the end of the zipper for a neat, clean look. When not in use, the bags will easily fold flat or nest inside each other for storage. Our new Double Zip Gear Bag 2.0 pattern makes a more masculine toiletry bag and also includes three sizes. Each bag features a double zippered flap at the top that opens easily for full access to the roomy interior. It will be so easy to see and access everything inside. Two exterior zippered pockets, one made of mesh and another of quilted fabric, as well as two interior slip pockets made of mesh, will keep things neat and organized. When not in use, the bags will easily nest inside each other for storage. Another great gift for teachers, students, or neighbors is our super easy quick zip cases. Fill them with treats, pens and pencils, or what have you. These simple bags are perfect for using quilted fabric and zipper tape left over from other projects. Once everything is cut out, I can make a quick zip case in just 20 minutes. I have one final gift idea, and this is one that is near and dear to my heart, literally. Our free pattern Bosom Buddy provides instructions to make a handy seat belt cushion. This simple project makes wearing a seat belt more comfortable. Not only does the cushion have two layers of foam for extra padding under the seat belt, but the design also spreads the pressure of the belt over a larger area. If you or someone you love have had surgery for breast cancer or other treatments that affect the chest or stomach area, this soft, comfortable cushion will be so appreciated. It can be worn on either the shoulder or lap portion of the seat belt and will reduce discomfort and protect tender areas after surgeries or chemoport placements. But don't think a bosom buddy is only for those who have had surgery. As a short person, I've found that most cars aren't designed for drivers of my size. So the seat belt usually ends up way up under my neck. It's scratchy and uncomfortable and much to my family's chagrin, all too often makes me just skip buckling up. Fortunately, attaching a bosom buddy to the seat belt in my vehicles has solved that problem. The cushion moves the belt away from my neck, making it much more comfortable to wear and providing a safe driving experience. Many of the next projects I'm going to show you would make great gifts, but they're also perfect for organizing your space. Let's start with some brand new patterns that we'll be shipping in early March. A Place for Everything 2.0 is an update of our hugely popular A Place for Everything bag. We have made lots of changes to this project, which is designed to provide visibility and easy access to a large variety of tools and supplies. You are going to love them. Abundant pockets in a variety of styles are the key to ensuring that there is a place for everything and that everything is in its place. 
Inside the bag are two removable pages, which stack on top of each other and fold in half in the center to make a book. Each page has pockets attached to the left and right sides on both the front and the back. Pockets may be made of vinyl or mesh fabric. Vinyl provides complete visibility and security of contents. Mesh adds a pop of color while still providing visibility and some added stretch. Vinyl adds more structure and stability to the pages, whereas mesh is lighter, more flexible, and reduces bulk. Another brand new pattern is Tools of the Trade. These functional carriers in two sizes are designed to store, protect, and carry oversized items, such as rulers, cutting mats, sketchbooks, even computers. Their sleek design ensures sturdy stability and makes it easy to access items inside without even opening the bag. Just lift the flap and remove the items you need. Or lay the bag down, zip open the sides, and you'll have full visibility and access to everything inside. To save space, the front of the bag can just fold over, reducing the amount of space required for access. A large zippered mesh pocket, as well as a padded sleeve and variety of fabric and mesh dividers, keep tools and supplies organized while maintaining visibility and easy access. When you're ready to go, just rezip the sides and close the flap. Long handles allow the bag to be carried over the shoulder or even crossbody for easy hands free carrying. You'll love being able to sling the bag over your shoulder knowing that everything inside is safe and secure. If you want even more organization inside your Tools of the Trade bag, you'll love these pocket packers. They are ideal for organizing smaller items and feature lots of zippered pockets. I made a set of bags similar to these to organize my stepouts at shows. I'd hang them next to my demo station and I can't tell you how many times someone would walk up with one of the bags in hand asking, where is this pattern? So we went to work and designed a fun pattern with lots of options. Pocket packers are great for organizing and carrying clothing and personal items in a suitcase or for providing easy access to any variety of tools and supplies in class. The pattern includes instructions for four styles of bag. Each bag has a full height pocket on back. The fronts can be made with one pocket, two pockets, three pockets, or four pockets. Any of those pockets may be divided into more than one section as we did on this bag. A reinforced handle attached to the top of each bag can be customized for carrying by hand or over the shoulder. If you're looking for a smaller bag to carry your project pieces, you'll love Project Bags 2.0. These handy zippered bags in four sizes have clear vinyl windows for easy visibility of contents. A sturdy quilted base protects whatever you are carrying, and colorful borders add interest. Project bags are perfect for using scraps and small bits of fabric in your stash. Just add one package of vinyl and one half-yard package of soft and stable to make all four bags. They would make great gifts for anyone who sews or crafts, but they're also perfect for toys, games, puzzles, sheet music, and more. One of my favorite ways to store tools is in my Running With Scissors tool case. This compact zip-up case holds a variety of tools, from rotary cutters and scissors, to markers, turning tools, small rulers, and more. A variety of easy-to-access pockets in vinyl, mesh, and quilted fabric can be customized to fit the tools you use. You'll love this handy case for safely storing and protecting your tools, and will appreciate how easy it is to access them at home or on the go. As a companion to Running With Scissors, we designed the Take a Stand pattern, which includes instructions for stand-up totes in two sizes. The small tote is perfectly sized to use as a stand for the tool case and to carry project supplies or even a small iron. The large tote will hold the filled running with scissors tool case along with everything you need for your project or even a small sewing machine. In addition to using with your running with scissors tool case, you'll love these versatile totes for many uses as a day-to-day -day purse, an overnight bag, 
a diaper bag, and more. Catch All Caddy 2.0 provides another great way to organize and carry supplies and tools. With lots of pockets and inner bellowed dividers, it will provide easy access to everything when you're ready to work, at home or in class. I have a caddy on every work table in my home sewing room and my work studio. I organize each caddy in exactly the same way, so I always know right where to look for markers, scissors, rotary cutters, circle rulers, stilettos, and more. Here's a little tip. Put a plastic container in some of the inner dividers to hold smaller items like seam rippers, glue sticks, basting tape, and more. Because the dividers are not sewn in at the bottom, they'll expand beautifully to hold the cup, and you won't be losing small items in the bottom of the caddy. I often make a catch-all caddy as a baby shower gift. It can be filled with diapers, wipes, creams, children's books, and toys to make a gift that any parent will love. In control is catch-all caddy's little sister. Its smaller footprint makes it easy to use next to the sewing machine, on a desk, or on the coffee table. Make a caddy to match your decor and set it on the coffee table or nightstand to hold remotes for the TV, DVD, and sound system, along with your e-reader, reading glasses, and more. A bird watcher will appreciate a handy spot to store binoculars. Corral your teen's gaming equipment in their own personal and control and you'll all be happier. No more piles of cords all over the floor. Another especially popular organizational item is our ruler wrap. The pattern includes step-by-step -step instructions for carriers in two sizes, which are perfect for storing lots of rulers, a mat, and cutting supplies. Each carrier features a quilted slip pocket at the bottom, a variety of zippered mesh pockets inside, and a quilted zippered pocket on the back. An especially nice feature is the rod pocket that allows the wrap to be hung from a door for easy access. The wraps also fold easily for safe carrying of rulers and mats on the go. Nesting baskets are a good project to segue into our home deck ideas. These baskets are perfect for storing and organizing all kinds of treasures while adding a touch of color and design to a room. I use a set of these baskets to store fabrics and supplies in my sewing room. If you collect fat quarters, you may be surprised to learn that you can fit 84 fat quarters in the large basket. That's the equivalent of 21 yards of fabric. The medium will hold 40 fat quarters, or the equivalent of 10 yards of fabric. The small is perfect for a couple of jelly rolls, wonder clips, hardware, and more. Nesting baskets are also perfect in the office, den, kids' room, wherever. Stack them, or when they're empty, nest them for storage. Another great way to store items while providing some design and color, Contain Yourself features soft-sided bins in three functional sizes. They are sized to fit perfectly in cube-style bookcases. If you like, you may add a vinyl pocket to the front of the bin. Tuck a label or picture of the contents into this pocket for easy identification. One yard each of main and lining fabrics makes one large, one medium, and two small bins. The pattern also includes formulas for making any size. There are so many ways to use these handy containers. My very favorite home storage option, Room with a View, features sturdy zippered bins in three sizes. Like Contain Yourself, they are designed to fit perfectly on cube-style bookcases and can be made of fabrics to match your decor or intended use. A see-through window in front makes it easy to see what's inside, and a zippered top keeps everything safe and secure. Easy-to-grab handles on the top and on the sides make it easy to move and carry the bins. A zippered mesh pocket inside the lid is the perfect spot to store small items. Use these versatile bins to corral toys, hats and gloves, fabric, out-of-season clothes, or any variety of treasures. Show your machine a little love with these undercover sewing machine covers in three sizes. The pattern is specifically designed for Bernina machines, the 3, 5, and 7 series, but the pattern and add-on video include tips for measuring your machine and making adjustments. The covers feature a variety of pockets for holding manuals, accessories, and more. 
go beyond the generic one-size-fits-all kitchen cover and dress up your mixer with a sturdy and stylish in-the-mix cover. You'll protect your investment and add color to your kitchen while keeping the mixer clean and dust-free. Choose fun fabrics by your favorite designer so you can enjoy seeing them every day. Or pick colors and designs to coordinate with your furniture and furnishings to give a more unified look to your home decor. These sturdy covers will also help you stay organized as they feature handy pockets on all sides. You can organize your room while saving space when you utilize these handy bedside, sofa, or chair caddies. Tuck one between the mattress and box spring or sofa cushion and frame, and everything you need will be within reach. Multiple fabric and mesh pockets hold magazines, books, tablets, water bottles, remotes, phones, chargers, and more. Last but not least is our quick and easy handle it. You'll save precious minutes on your way out the door when you make and use these fun, functional, and easy to make door hanging organizers. Each handle it is designed to fit over the door handle to hold keys, phones, glasses, shopping lists, and more. A handy strap on the back holds larger items such as letters, envelopes, or newspapers. An optional elastic loop helps to secure the organizer to the door handle. The pattern includes instructions for two styles of pocket, including one made with chalkboard fabric. Let's talk next about travel. I know we're all just chomping at the bit to move about the country and world. From tags to bags for trips across town or around the world, we've got ideas for making travel more fun as you make your own personalized travel accessories. The pandemic has brought travel restrictions and many restaurants are still closed to in-person dining. That doesn't mean you have to eat at home. Grab Some Grub 2.0 includes instructions for classic lunch bags in two versions, quilted or non-quilted. These roomy bags are perfect for carrying all the fixings for a hearty lunch, including a thermos, lunch cube, and more. So they're perfect for carrying your lunch to a private spot in a nearby park. A mesh pocket inside holds an ice pack or napkins and utensils, and an iron-on vinyl laminate such as slicker may be added to the lining on the non-quilted version to make it easy to wipe clean. When empty, the bag folds flat for storage. Soft and stable gives grab some grub, and any travel bag, great body and stability, and ensures that it may be machine washed and dried for long-lasting wear. I'll Drink to That is another handy carrier and is designed to hold up to four bottles of wine or other beverages and or glassware, snacks, and more. It's perfect for taking a picnic lunch on a hike or, when social distancing restrictions are lifted, carrying a bottle of wine to dinner with friends. Biani Soft and Stable provides cushioning and insulation for bottles and glasses and makes the project easy to sew. Since the bag is about 13 inches tall, it would also work well for holding most standard size knitting needles and yarn or a variety of other items. Here's another project to help you get ready for when the gyms, pools, and beaches are open again. Designed by my beautiful daughter-in-law, Gloria, who wanted an easy to open wrap to carry her extra large mat to exercise class, Roll With It includes complete instructions for carriers in two sizes. They are perfect for carrying yoga mats to exercise class or towels, swimsuits, and flip-flops to the beach. They'd also hold blankets for a picnic lunch or even sleeping bags or mats for your next camping trip. I love a backpack. Being able to carry what I need on my back is so nice. And we've got you covered with backpacks in three sizes and styles. Back At You 2.1 is a stylish, travel-friendly backpack purse with a quick grab padded handle and adjustable straps. It features a magnetic flap on the front pocket, a zippered pocket on back, and a full-height zippered pocket inside. A variety of slip pockets provide easy access to phone, keys, credit cards, ID cards, and more. Got Your Back 2.1 makes a very similar backpack. It has all those features, but because it is larger, it also includes side pockets on the exterior. The Out and About knapsack has padded straps, which can be adjusted for easy carrying over the shoulder 
or as a backpack. It also features a padded handle at top for easy carrying. There are two compartments, a main compartment as well as a smaller front compartment. Inside the compartments are a variety of pockets to organize everything. You will love how easy it is to access everything in the bag with zippers that open all the way down each side of each compartment. Another brand new pattern, Switchback, may be carried as a backpack, over the shoulder, or crossbody. Switchback is designed to be made with a variety of fabrics, alternating them for a fun color block style. The bag features numerous pockets for organizing everything that you need to carry. This sturdy and versatile satchel is the perfect size for running around town or taking on a trip. My favorite everyday purse, Bowl Me Over 2.0, has a classic bowler silhouette, which gives a very pleasing shape to the bag. The variety of pockets makes it super useful, and its size makes it easy to carry and prevents you from taking everything and the kitchen sink. It holds everything you need and no more. Bowl Me Over's big sister is the Ultimate Travel Bag 2.0. Perfect for weekend trips, the bag has two side handles as well as an adjustable, detachable padded carrying strap. The bag features numerous pockets for organizing everything that you need to carry. And a handy trolley sleeve on back makes it easy to attach it to your rolling luggage. If you are looking for a travel bag with a bit more of a masculine shape, we suggest Travel Duffel 2. This bag is big and sturdy enough for all your adventures and perfect for trips anywhere in the world. The bag has two side handles as well as an adjustable detachable carrying strap with a pad. An optional trolley sleeve on the back of the bag enables you to hook the bag over the handles on rolling luggage. The main compartment opens with a double slide zipper for access to the roomy interior. Get Out of Town 2 is the little sister to Travel Duffel. It includes many of the same features, though fewer pockets because of its smaller size. It's perfect as an overnight bag or gym bag. I love making pack-it-in sets to organize everything in my suitcase or large travel bag. The pattern includes instructions for bags in three sizes, each of which has a mesh lid for visibility and ventilation. I use the small for underwear bras and socks, the medium for pants, and the large for shirts and jackets on hangers. Best of all, when I get to the hotel, I don't even need to unpack. I just put my packet in in the drawer and zip open the lid. One last bag that is perfect for travel is Divide and Conquer. The pattern includes instructions for feature-rich bags in two sizes. The bags open like suitcases to reveal handy, see-through zippered compartments. These compartments provide separate storage sections on each side of the bag and are perfect to divide and organize anything from clothes and personal supplies to a laptop and business papers. Inner pocket pages with zippered mesh pockets on each side store and organize a multitude of smaller items. The pages are attached to the inside of the bag, so can be easily flipped front to back to access the pockets on each side. I love that I can divide my personal items from my business items and know right where everything is. Finally, I'd like to tell you about a series of free downloadable patterns which you can find at Biani.com. All have complete video tutorials and are designed to teach you basic skills needed for Biani patterns. We recommend that you make the projects in this order. Petty for baskets. Learn to work with Soft and Stable and discover its features as you make these handy baskets. Just two 10-inch squares of fabric, a piece of Soft and Stable, and an hour or two of your time are needed to make these cute little containers. Peacekeeper. As you make this handy project bag, you will learn to quilt with Soft and Stable, install a zipper in mesh, add a border, make a handle, and make an attach custom bias binding. Call Me. This handy name tag cell phone bag is not only useful for carrying your essentials, but it's also easy and fun to make. If quilting fabrics, 
binding edges, installing zippers, or working with vinyl mesh and fold-over elastic are techniques that are new or challenging to you, this is a great little project to strengthen and perfect your skills. Easy does it. This handy zippered bag is so useful for carrying all your essentials. As you make it, you will learn to quilt using a crosshatch design, install a zipper between two strips, join the zipper strip to the side strip with a bulk-free seam, and assemble and bind a dimensional project. Again, these four patterns are free to download and the videos are also free. As I'm sure you've noticed, there are several core products that we use in almost all of our projects. I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss each of those and give a few tips for their use. I created Biani Soft and Stable to give body and stability to purses, bags, and more. We use it as a stabilizer in almost every project. This ensures that your bag will stand up and hold its shape and enables you to use most any type of fabric for the project. Soft and Stable is a firm but resilient foam with a softly napped fabric lining on each side. The lining hugs your fabric and keeps it from sliding when you are quilting or sewing. Soft and Stable is a sew-in stabilizer, so there are no glues or adhesives to gum up your needle. It's usually the only stabilizer needed in a project, so there is no need to spend hours cutting, fusing, and attaching various interfacings. Soft and Stable is machine washable and dryable, and may be ironed on medium heat. If your piece has wrinkles or creases, just steam it with an iron set on medium. Those wrinkles will disappear and it will look like it just came off the roll. The original foam stabilizer, Soft and Stable, has revolutionized bag making and put the power to make a professional looking bag in your hands. Soft and Stable makes it easy to sew the bag of your dreams. Available in black or white, Soft and Stable is 58 inches wide and packaged in half yard, one yard, and two yard pieces. It is also available on a 15-yard roll. By Annie's Lightweight Mesh is perfect for pockets and windows in bags. It adds a pop of color while providing visibility and some added stretch. Mesh is lighter and more flexible than vinyl, and it reduces bulk. By Annie's Lightweight Mesh comes in 14 fun colors and is 54 inches wide. It comes in a half-yard package, which measures 18 inches by 54 inches, or on a 15-yard roll, which measures 15 yards by 54 inches. Here's a tip. Cut small pieces of all the colors of mesh that you've collected. When you're ready to pick mesh for your project, lay out the pieces to audition colors. Sometimes the one you think is the obvious choice gets bumped by something completely different. To make this extra easy, we now offer mesh sample packs. These packs feature all 14 colors of our lightweight mesh riveted to a sturdy card. Each sample piece is 6 inches by 8 inches. The backing card is printed with a zipper color card to help you choose zippers. This is the perfect tool for planning your projects and getting all the colors just right. We like to use Biani's fold-over elastic to bind pockets as well as for other uses, such as the handy tool holders in running with scissors. Fold-over elastic adds a pop of color, is extra easy to attach, and offers a good bit of stretch. The elastic is latex-free and contains spandex. It is shiny on one side and matte on the other. Either side may be used. A fold down the center of the elastic makes it easy to fold and sew. By Annie's Fold Over Elastic comes in 14 fun colors to match our lightweight mesh and handbag zippers. You can coordinate the fold over elastic color with the mesh and zippers, or use a contrasting color to liven things up. We keep pieces of fold over elastic on a ring to make it easy to audition colors. The fold-over elastic is 20 millimeters wide and comes in a 2-yard package or on a 50-yard roll. Here's a special tip if you're using fold-over elastic. Due to its elastic nature, fold-over elastic may shrink somewhat after coming off the roll. 
To accelerate the shrinkage, we recommend pressing the fold-over elastic with an iron set on low to medium heat before cutting the pieces for your project to ensure that the pieces will be the correct length. We use Biani's Premium Vinyl for pockets, windows, and pages to provide complete visibility and security of contents. It also adds structure and stability to a project. Biani's Premium Vinyl is a 16-gauge heavyweight clear vinyl and is double polished for maximum clarity. Flexible yet sturdy, Biani's Vinyl is easy to sew through and will hold up to extended use. It is 54 inches wide and comes packaged as a 16 by 54 inch piece or on a 15 yard by 54 inch roll. Zippers add functionality to projects and are often an integral part of the design. We recommend that you use Biani's number 4.5 handbag zippers. Their extra wide tape makes installation much easier and is often necessary for pieces to fit properly. They also have extra large slides that are easy to grab and have big holes for easy insertion of fabric zipper pulls. Made by YKK of nylon coil, they are easy to cut to length and to sew. They are also strong and sturdy and will stand up to repeated use. You'll find handbag zippers in several links and styles at Biani.com. For most versatility, we recommend our zippers by the yard, which are packaged with four yards of zipper tape and 16 slides. For help making your own zippers, please watch our Zippers Are Easy, Make Zippers of Any Length and Style video. You'll find a link on the Tutorials tab at Biani.com. Biani's PolyPro strapping is a durable and long-lasting strapping that is great for handles for bags, purses, and more. We recommend covering the strapping with a coordinating fabric to give a truly custom look to your project. All relevant Biani patterns include instructions for how to do this and use your fabric efficiently. Our strapping comes in 1 inch and 1 and a half inch widths in black and white. It is packaged in 3 yard or 6 yard packages and on 50 yard rolls. You'll love how Biani's hardware embellishes your bags. It is beautifully finished, not simply die-cast or bent wire. This results in smooth lines, no rough edges, and a truly high-quality look and feel. Our hardware is available in a variety of styles in both 1-inch and 1.5-inch widths and in black, antique brass, and nickel finishes. If you've ever watched any of our video tutorials, you'll see that the Biani Stiletto and Pressing Tool is almost always in my hand. I truly would not want to sew without it. Here's what we love about this precision placement tool. The point enables you to hold pieces in place easily. This is especially helpful when piecing or attaching bindings. You can keep the tip in place on the fabric almost until the needle reaches the point. You just can't keep your fingers in place that close to the needle. We added one feature which sets this tool apart from any other on the market. The point of the stiletto is sand ground. This means it's lovingly roughed up. This extra manufacturing step prevents the point from sliding off the fabric and really helps you grab, pull, and hold pieces in place. We looked long and hard to find a company who could provide this feature for us and finally found a needle manufacturing facility to complete this step. It adds to the cost, but it is so worth it. The high-carbon German-made steel point is strong and inserted deep into the handle for long-lasting wear. The other end of the tool is angled at just the right degree to make a surface for pressing seams open. There's no need to move to the ironing board for just a small seam. You can press right at your machine. The tool is very lightweight, so hands don't get tired. And the handle is made of quality European beech wood, which is lacquer finished for long-lasting wear and a smooth finish. It is durable and water resistant. Turnings on the handle make it easy to hold and grip, and flattened edges on each side of the tool prevent it from rolling off your workspace. No more crawling around under your table looking for your stiletto. We know that you will love this tool too. Try one today, and then come back for more. 
I keep a stiletto pressing tool at each machine, plus one on the work table, and another two or three in my travel sewing kit so that I always have one close at hand. Buy Annie's stiletto and pressing tool makes a great gift for friends who sew or quilt. They will bless you for your thoughtfulness as they too fall in love with this handy tool. I hope that you've enjoyed this mini trunk show of Buy Annie projects and that you've been inspired to start something new. Note that in addition to the complete videos that go with the Biani Basics patterns, most of the projects that I featured today also include add-on videos to help you succeed. You'll find complete information about all the projects and products at our website. Be sure to watch the introduction and closer look videos for each pattern too, to get a better look at the projects, ways that we've used them, and models that we've made. We can't wait to see the projects that you make, so be sure to share pictures with us. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube by using at Patterns by Annie. You may also email pictures to us at marketing at We've planned 52 Facebook Live events for 2021. We'll share tips, tricks, techniques, new products, and more. Join me for a fun and creative year. Thanks so much for joining us. Happy stitching!